What's up, YouTube? See, this is Odds, like here. And today we'll be opening a starter deck from Yu Gi Oh! 5Ds, the Junk Warrior. And before we pop it open, though, let's check out the back. It says here Kick your game into overdrive with brand new secret monsters and fast paced dueling. The Yu Gi Oh! 5D starter deck lets you play like your favorite 5Ds characters. Rev it up! <laughs> Alright. Uh, this extra pack, this starter deck contains 40 common cards, 1 for 3, full cards, 1 beginner guide, and 1 game map. Also has some stuff down there. Then test your deck's power at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game Hobby League near you. Alright, you guys. Let's pop it open and check it out. With our Junk Warrior mats. I thought that was pretty cool. You know, Junk Warrior is actually not a bad card. Like, some decks can actually play them. So, decks that have smaller level monsters. Lower level monsters. Rev it up! Alright, let's pop it open. So, we have our Junk Warrior. And as it says there, you guys, Junk Synchron plus one or more non-tuner monsters. When this card is Synchro Summon, it gains attack equal to the total attack of all level 2 and lower monsters on the field. So, this card is actually really good in the uh, Beast deck. The level 2 or lower Beast deck. And then any other level 2 or lower deck that you're messing around with. Because you can get some huge level 2 guys or level 2 or lower monsters sometimes. And then Junk Warrior becomes a force to be reckoned with. So, And I still remember, I don't know if you guys remember, when this star deck actually came out. And Junk Warrior was kind of good just because it was one of the first synchros. So, uh, I remember that being funny. And then Gaia Knight. Of course this guy was awesome. But the thing was, around the time this came out, Goyo Guardian was out. And so if you're going to play... At the six star synchro, you're gonna play three three Goyo Guardians. Or two Goyo Guardians. Guy and Knight, the Force of the Earth. Not a bad card. And then of course, Colossal Fighter. Making this deck actually pretty decent. It had Colossal Fighter in it, it had Guy and Knight and Junk Synchron, which is pretty awesome. Three synchros. And he gains one hundred attack for each warrior type monster in every graveyard. In any graveyard, and when this card is destroyed, the battle sent to the graveyard. Special summon another warrior from your either player's graveyard in its place, or it just special summon itself when it's destroyed by battle. So if you plan it right, you can take your colossal fighter and have it be pumped or whatever, and attack into a monster with equal attack, and then colossal fighter will come back because it's destroyed by battle, and then it will be able to attack again in the same battle phase because it's a new monster being summoned during battle phase. So yeah, if you have like, if they have, uh, what's an example, a 3,000 you know, 3, monster on their side of the field and you got two warriors in the grave, 3,000 attack, comes back, attack again. So that's always been a good colossal, colossal combo. All right. So then we have Toon Warrior, Water Spirit, Axe Raider, Dark Blade, nice. They say he's a dragon manipulating warrior from the dark world. His attack is tremendous, using his great swords with vicious power. Charcoal and Pachi, Wood Borg in Pachi, Spiral Serpent, Renge Gatekeeper of Dark World, Renge, Atlantean Pikeman. Oh, there's some Atlanteans in this deck. The Great Ocean Lord who reigns over the depths is served by these lancers. Deep sea creatures exist in fear of facing the stream of attacks that their lances are capable of. Sonic Chick, Junk Synchron, Speed Warrior. Magno Drago. Each time this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, it gains 200 attack. Remember that guy not being... He was actually a decent card for a while. And of course, Junk Synchron was awesome. Uh, Frequency Magician wasn't bad. When this card's normal summon, you can place a spell counter on it. Max 1. Remove a spell counter from this card to have one face of monster control. Gain 500 attack. And he's a 2-star tuner. Copycat. UFO Turtle. Uh, oh, there you go. There's a good combo with Junk Synchron. So, Copycat. Select one monster your opponent controls the attack and defense to equal to that monster. So select the 3,000 attack monster, Junk Synchron is summoned, boom. Copycat gives it an extra 3,000 attack if you copy a 3,000 monster. Mystic Tomato, Marauding Captain. Marauding Captain and cards like uh, Goblinburg were much better back when Synchros and uh, Xyz first came out just because that just the basic Synchros and Xyz were just that good. Uh, Exiled, ex Exiled Force. Synchro Boost, Synchro Blast Wave, Synchronize the Realm, the Warrior Returning of Alive, Smashing Ground, 
Rush Recklessly, Monster Reincarnation, Lightning Vortex, Twister, Double Summon, Symbols of D Dude, this is a freaking good starter deck. Jeez. Threatening Roar, Scrap Iron Scarecrow's in here too. Jeez. Miniaturize, Spellbinding Circle, Backup Soldier, Trap Hole, Sakuretsu Armor, Divine Wrath, Seven Tools of Bandit, and Birthright. Man, if you're wanting to buy a starter deck, this is actually not bad at all. I mean, of course, you got to get rid of these normal monsters that are just complete garbage, but other than that, it's not a bad deck. There's a whole bunch of cool cards in here, like Threatening Roar and Divine Wrath and Scrap Iron Scarecrow is good in some decks. But yeah, overall, not a bad deck. If you guys are looking to buy a basic Synchro deck and you, you can get this for a good price, go for it. You know, Colossal Fighter and uh, Gaia and Junk Warrior are all worth, you know, at least a dollar by themselves. So. And once again, YouTube, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And simply unlucky signing out.